your favorite mentor here, Jeffrey Benson. I'm going to teach you today how to use $100 to make $100,000 in trading, in forex trading. So this is just simple. It's not anything scammy. It's not illegal. It's what we call leverage. Leverage is an amount of money that your broker lent to you to carry out a particular transaction. So once you are done with that particular transaction, they get to take it back from you and then you get to keep your profit on no extra cost on them or on no extra cost on you. It's just the exact same thing that they give to you. So I'm going to be taking you to our headquarters office. I'm going to give you examples, the lot size you should be using and how you should be approaching the market. Don't worry, come with me. I'm just going to show you exact same way I do it. All right. So yeah, I'm right here at the office. It's time. Let me show you guys how this is being done. How leverage, how your broker can actually give you leverage. You'll be able to use that to switch up your hundred dollars account and be able to bump it up to about four hundred thousand dollars in trade. Um, I think my keys. I got that right here. Hold on. I got things for them at the office. Uh, uh, got them some chocolate bars. Yo, this is too plain. <laughs> nice. Hello. Hola. Good afternoon. Hello, how are you doing? For the team. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. I think there's still one more of this one in the car. You can just go okay. get it by the driver's side. Yeah, so let's go. How are you doing, Shams? Hello, how are you? Saji, what's up? Good to you. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Nice, let's go. So um, on the screen, connected to the, to the PC, I want to show them how to use a $100 to be able to bump things up and be able to get about $100,000 in trading, all right? It's not an amount of money that you have been given and then you go ahead and withdraw it and run away. No, it's not. This money is invisible. You're not going to see it, but this is what happened at the back end. So say, for example, you have a $100 account, all right? Remember, we are dealing with a $100 account, right? So. When you have $100, okay, it's not up here, okay. So let's say you have $100, this is the amount of money you have. This is the amount of money you have. Let me make sure that I have this, yeah. This is the amount of money you have, this is your balance, all right? So how can you turn this money to this 100,000, that's what you are talking about now, dollars, yeah, in, in buying capital. In leverage, we have a leverage of one to two, one to one, one to 50, one to, 500, 1 to 1,000, 1 to 2,000, and so on and so forth. Some brokers even give leverage of 1 to unlimited, like Exness. Exness does that, and there are some other brokerages, all right? So if you have 1 to 100, I want you to select a leverage of 1 to 1,000. What I simply mean is for every $1,000 you've got, all right, they will give you $1,000 equivalent. That's just a simple meaning. So if you bring $100, which is here is yours, $100, then times 1,000. So let's do the math. 1,000 by 100, all right? So you have one, two, three, one, two. So you have one, two, three. That's $100,000. So though you have a $100 in your account balance, then you can do a transaction worth of 100,000. That's a lot of money that you can play around with, right? Leverage can also dap in your success. It can make you to lose your $100 fast again. Let me explain. Because you have this knowledge now, you may not want to go on your chart and start over leveraging, start placing big lot sizes. Let me tell you how this one can equate to your success or to your loss. So if you have a hundred dollars as your account balance, all right, you can now, because of this knowledge, because you chose a leverage of one to one thousand or even more, that will now allow you to place one standard lot size. Standard lot size. All right, what one standard lot size mean is for you to be able to trade on GBP USD or any pair, and I love to use GBP because that's my pair. All right, that means you need a hundred thousand units of the base currency in GBP USD. This is the base currency, GBP is the base. So, practically speaking, for one standard lot size, you need hundred thousand of the base. Of whatever currency you are trading in this case which is gbp of gbp all right so for you to trade 0 0.1 mini this is a mini lot size you need 
10,000 of the base, in this case it's still of pound. Alright? For 0 0.01, which is micro, you would need 1,000 of the base currency, which is pound in this case. So, if it is USD JPY you are trading, please, JPY, then you need, it will now be USD. You understand what I mean now? It will now be, here will not be US. The currency will change. Here will be US. Here will be US. It's usually the base of the base currency. This makes sense, right? So, even though you have a $100 account, you can still go ahead and place a trade with one standard loss size, though you have a $100 account. So, with a $100 account, going by the units, these are the units, contract units prices. Going by these units, you shouldn't even have a place to even be able to place 0 0.01. You shouldn't be able to place 0 0.01 by default. So, it is leverage that allows you to place with a $100 account, you're still able, able to place 0 0.01. And mind you, I know you guys want, I want to, let me bring it to reality now, talking about money. With 0 0.01, if price moves in your favor, you should be making 10 cents. That standard. This is me not putting other factor in. There are many factors that could affect this, all right. But it could have, it could be that the conversion of GBP to USD at that time. So there are many factors. I don't want to go too much deep. But just know that if you're using 0 0.01, what you are expected to get should be 10 cents. Then if you're using one mini, what you should get will be one dollar per each pip movement. In the same way, our normal our human beings, our movement is calculated in form of steps. Market movement is calculated in form of pip. Anytime market make one move. If you're using this one, you'll be making one. If you're using one mini, you'll be making one dollar. If you take another move, two dollars. But if you're doing standard lot size, which is the standardized one, for each pip movement, you'll be making ten dollars. All right. So in order for you to play here, you don't want to be playing here. To play here with your hundred dollars, which is here, to play here, then you need to select a leverage of one to one thousand. This is what is going to give you a bigger leverage to play here. Now let me tell you, this is a good side of leverage. Now, the downtime to leverage, downside of leverage is because you have $100 and you know you can place one standard lot size, do you know what happened? Once you go ahead and place one standard lot size and then your equity is liquidated, your free margin is gone and then your margin level percentage is less than 100 or less than 50 depending on what the, bro the broker's rule is. Your, once your money is exhausted, do you know what the broker do? That's what's called margin call. You lose your money, immediately the broker, they withdraw their money. Immediately. Now, I'll, this concept will not be complete if I don't explain what margin is. So, margin is an amount of money that you put down. While leverage is an amount of money that your broker bring in. So, let's say for example, in order for you to complete this transaction, one standard loss size, you need to pay a hundred thousand dollars on this side, right? You need to bring one percent in for this transaction, one percent. Your broker brings ninety-nine percent. What your broker brings is what you call leverage. It's your leverage sum. And what you bring is what you call margin. Always, this is what happens at the back end. So with this knowledge, this is how I know how to flip. I can flip $20 to $1,000. Though it doesn't work every time, but then this is the knowledge I use. I know the loss size to put. I know when to go in. I know when to scale in. I know when to exit. I know all these things. So this is just a simple calculation of how you can turn your $100 to be to having a buying capacity of hundred thousand dollars so i'm sure you guys love this lesson if you want me to do more emphasis on this type of lesson let me know in the comment section any topic you want me to break down for you guys from a to z all right so until you next time you guys make sure you keep the fire peeping i always keep dropping content like this kindly subscribe turn on post notification and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now